All right, here we go. Comics Plus, I'm just on here in the middle of doing a 24-hour stream on Twitter. I am yawning. Uh, we ended up getting an extra hour because I got a lot of gifted subs, uh, courtesy of Negan Rage. So uh, there's more stuff going on here. We are currently playing Suicide Squad right now. Finally, finally, I'm in the middle of playing this Suicide Squad game. But we uh, just got the word that they have announced legitimately le announced the the uh, Marvel Studios Fantastic Four official casting and here we are about to get your boy Akasun's reaction uh, here we go we're going to plug this into uh, Marvel Studios hopefully no tor porn on Twitter that's all it is now ever since the takeover clicking on Marvel Studios right now The Fantastic Four. <laughs> okay, okay, I can see the logo. I can, I can see the. Okay, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Uh, I, I, I know where they're going with this kind of retroactive style, kind of jettison, um, old style logo. But let's see the official casting here. Happy Valentine's Day for Marvel's first family. Pedro Pascal, Vanessa Kirby, e Evian Moss Baraj, and Joseph Quinn. I don't know who those people are except Pedro Pascal. Oh, she was in, um, she was in, um, um, Crown. I believe I believe she played Queen Elizabeth's sister. Uh, I think this guy was in Don't Worry Darling, I believe. Maybe. And then the guy in the back, yeah, he was recently in The Bear, right? Yeah. All right. Okay. 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 Hmm. Pedro Pascal. I guess. Not really somebody... Not... not necessarily the, my first choice to be honest i think it's just because he's been everywhere <laughs> excuse me he's been everywhere but um yeah mission impossible johnny storm is eddie from stranger oh ho, ho. there you go okay okay thank you thank you good to know um the logo of the fantastic four looks a lot like wandavision uh, I, I know where you're going with it. It's got that retroactive feel to it. Like, very... Um, I forgot what time period. I, I want to say the 50s. The 50s time time period. Uh, so I see where they're going. They even have, like, the little, like, yeah, that kind of, like, bewitched, um, leave it to beaver sort of style. The little robot. Like, that's a... Um, remember... Um, even, I would say, even like Jetsons, because Jetsons was in the future, but yet they kind of gave it that really old school feel. Um, remember there was a robot in the Jetsons? Uh, I think it was Trudy or Rudy or something like that, you know? The robot Herbie, right? Yeah. Um, everybody's shitting on Pedro. Yeah, no, I think, I just, I just, I just think mainly because he's like i've seen him in so many things now um that it's a little difficult for me to just see him as reed richards but you know what honestly he might he might uh be perfect like um i generally see mr fantastic as um more of like a thin kind of guy a thinner type of dude so you know he's, he's a little more bulky than um i imagine Reed Richards, but you know, whatever. I thought the guy from, well, it's a little weird because I thought the dude from Multiverse of Madness, I, like, I know he was a hot contender. I wonder what happened with that. Like, hmm. I thought he was fine, but I guess people, I don't know, people didn't like him or whatever. So, all right. Yeah, yeah. I see a lot of people in the comments also saying the same thing. Wow. I'm just really not sold on Pedro's Reed. It just didn't help at all. Okay. Okay. 60s, yeah, 60s vibes. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I, 
I guess. Yeah, she. I think she was definitely in um, The Crown. Very beautiful girl, a woman. Okay, uh, cool. That's it. Then um, that's my. Uh, that's like a normal Rockwell painting. I can see that. Miss Original Reed Richards. Yeah. He doesn't want to be in a franchise, really. Okay. All right. Well. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, I guess that's my reaction. Like, I'm not over ecstatically excited over it or something. You know, it's not like I was really had anybody particularly in mind for uh, the Fantastic Four. So, uh, really, Marvel. All Marvel really has to do is just they gotta execute it well. Like, um, I do think a. Not to sound negative, but I do definitely think like a, uh, I think a stronger pool for casting might have been better. Uh, but um, you know, I think Marvel and um, Kevin Feige they definitely believe that um, the Marvel name will bring people in regardless of the last couple of years. So. Um, Fingers crossed. Let's hope that that will actually bring people in. For, uh, you know, probably after the first trailer, we will know if it's going to be a hit or miss. You know what I mean? So, uh, Marvel is definitely not in a situation right now where they need like duds. So they're gonna need some uh, home runs now. If uh, Doom is around, now, but you see now that now. I say this now, but watch him f around and actually makes this happen. If Killian Murphy is, if they if they bring in Killian Murphy as Doctor Doom, you know, at this moment now I'm like, yeah, he's definitely not going to take the role now. But watch him f around and he ends up making that, getting that Marvel bag, that Disney bag, and they cast him. Then I'll be like, I'm all about it. But then at the same time, I was all about uh, uh, Kristen Bell being. Um, uh, broad and look how that ended up Ugh. so fingers crossed hopefully optimistic 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 sorry guys i've been streaming now for 13 hours i am tired spider-man timer uh what was i gonna say um um red red nation stand up speak up let me know what you guys think about the casting shout sound off below Jump on for jump. All right, here we go. Comics Plus Sakasan here in the middle of doing a 24 hour stream on Twitter. I am yawning. Uh, we ended up getting an extra hour because I got a lot of gifted subs, uh, courtesy of Negan Rage. So uh, there's more stuff going on here. We are currently playing Suicide Squad right now. Finally, finally, I'm in the middle of playing this Suicide Squad game. But we uh, just got the word that they have announced legitimately le announced the, the uh, Marvel Studios Fantastic Four official casting and here we are about to get your boy Akasan's reaction uh, here we go we're going to plug this into uh, Marvel Studios hopefully no tor porn on Twitter because that's all it is now ever since the takeover clicking on Marvel Studios right now The Fantastic Four. <laughs> okay, okay, I can see the logo. I can, I can see the. Okay, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Uh, I, I, I know where they're going with this kind of retroactive style, kind of jettison, um, old style logo. But let's see the official casting here. Happy Valentine's Day for Marvel's first family. Pedro Pascal, Vanessa Kirby, e Evian Moss Baraj, and Joseph Quinn. I don't know who those people are except Pedro Pascal. Who's... Oh, she was in, um, she was in, um, I believe, I believe she played Queen Elizabeth's sister. Uh, I think this guy was in 
Don't worry, darling, I believe. Maybe. And then the guy in the back, yeah, he was recently in the bear, right? Yeah. All right. Okay. 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 Hmm. Pedro Pascal. I guess. Not really somebody, not, not necessarily the, my first choice, to be honest. I think it's just because he's been everywhere. <laughs> He's been everywhere, but, um, yeah. Mission Impossible. Johnny Storm is Eddie from Stranger. Oh, 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 there you go. Okay, okay, thank you, thank you. Good to know. Um, the logo of the Fantastic Four looks a lot like WandaVision. Eh, I, I know where you're going with It's got that retroactive feel to it, like very... I forgot what time period. I, I want to say the 50s, the 50s time, time period. Uh, so I see where they're going. They even have like the little like, yeah, that kind of like bewitched, um, leave it to beaver sort of style, the little robot, like that's it. Um, remember, um, even I would say even like Jetsons, because Jetsons was in the future, but yet they kind of gave it that really old school feel. Um, remember there was a robot in the Jetsons, uh, I think it was Trudy or Rudy or something like that, you know? The robot Herbie, right? Yeah. Um, everybody's shitting on Pedro. Yeah, no, I think, I just, I, I just think mainly because he's like, I've seen him in so many things now. Um, that it's a little difficult for me to just see him as Reed Richards, but you know what? Honestly, he might, he might uh, be perfect. Like, um, I generally see Mr. Fantastic as um, more of like a thin kind of guy, a thinner type of dude. So you know, he, he's a little more bulky than um, I imagine. Reed Richards, but you know, whatever. I thought the guy from, it's a little weird because I thought the dude from Multiverse of Madness, I, like, I know he was a hot contender. I wonder what happened with that. Like, hmm. I thought he was fine, but I guess people, I don't know if people didn't like him or whatever, so. Alright. Yeah, yeah, I see a lot of people in the comments also saying the same thing. Wow, I'm just really not sold on paper as Reed and this didn't help at all. Okay. Okay. 60s, yeah, 60s vibes. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I guess. Yeah, she. I think she was definitely in um, The Crown. Very beautiful girl. A woman. Okay, uh, cool. That's it. Then, um, that's my, uh, it's like a normal rock world thing. I can see that. Miss Original Reed Richards, yeah. He doesn't want to be on a franchise, really? Okay. All right. Well, uh, yeah, yeah, um, I guess that's my reaction, like, not over ecstatically excited over it, or but, you know, it's not like I was really had anybody particularly in mind for, uh, the Fantastic Four, so, uh, really, Marvel, all Marvel really has to do is just, they gotta execute it well, like, um, I do think, a, not to sound negative, but I do definitely think like a, uh, I think a stronger pool for casting might have been better, uh, but, um, you know, I think Marvel and um, Kevin Feige, they definitely believe that um, the Marvel name will bring people in regardless of the last couple of years. So, um, fingers crossed, let's hope that that will actually bring people in for, um, you know, probably after the first trailer, we will know if it's going to be a hit or miss, you know what I mean? So, uh, Marvel is definitely not in a situation right now where they need, like, duds, so they're going to need some uh, home runs. Now, if uh, Doom is around, now, but you see, now, that, now, I say this now, but watch him f around and actually makes this happen. If Killian Murphy is, if they if they bring in Killian Murphy as Doctor Doom, you know, 
at this moment now, I'm like, yeah, he's definitely not going to take the role now. But watch him f around, and he ends up making that, getting that Marvel bag, that Disney bag, and they cast him. They'll be like, I'm all about it. But then at the same time.